warm greetings everyone i'm delighted to welcome you all for the academic year 2021-22 actions performed with awareness bring results at a time when the world is fast changing and india is emerging as the hub of global talent rbk school continues to be a beacon of inspiration and inculcates in students the qualities of leadership responsibility and accountability it gives me great pleasure to extend a very warm welcome to our principal mrs nalini shetty our head mistress mrs varsha bejal and coordinators mrs noela ulhana and mrs prachi sodo and all the eminent dignitaries who have joined us to grace this occasion we are delighted to have you here due to the current covid pandemic we have used the virtual media and technology to execute the election process we followed the following procedures to ensure safe and fair elections the enrollment was sent in the seesaw on 24th of june for the grade 5 students the students were given 4 days to submit their forms representatives were given a virtual platform to introduce themselves and disclose their strengths to their fellow mates and the teachers the voting session was held on the 5th of july in the seesaw students voted and subsequently the teachers of the respective houses interviewed for their captains and house captains we commence this auspicious day with the lamp lighting ceremony that signifies igniting the souls of our budding leaders with the idols of righteousness and integrity very good afternoon to all parents teachers and my young leaders congratulations to all the head boy head girl captain vice captain and prefects this is the first time that we will have young leaders online it's a challenge for all of you to show your leadership quality online also i would like to thank all the young ones who voted for me and your teachers to putting up this show do a good job do a good work never give up god bless you all have a good time
leader has the confidence to stand alone the courage to make tough decisions and a compassion to listen to the needs of others saying so let's get together and welcome our new student council as they don the mantle of responsibility and pledge to dispense their duties to the best of their ability i now call upon miss claudia murzello to announce the names of the school appointees for the academic year 2021-22 thank you hema miss a leader is the one who knows the way goes the way and shows the way rightly said by john maxwell i am honored to introduce the newly elected council members of the primary section for the year 2021-22 let us start with the head boy master om jagannath pani of class 5th b lead with pride and keep shining om to shoulder the responsibilities equally we have miss anura ramesh bagida as the head girl of class 5th c so proud of your achievement anura Let me introduce the captains and the vice captains of the four houses pledging to take Vivekanand house at its utmost height. Here we have Master Astik Aditya Chain of class 5th C as the captain of the Vivekanand house and Miss Ridvi Supriya Gupta of class 5th B as the vice captain of the Vivekanand house. Leading the Tagore House, we have Ms. Chaini Abhijit Joshi of Class 5G as the Captain of Tagore House and Master Rayaj Sujit Gurav of Class 5A as the Vice Captain of the Tagore House. All set to offer her duties as house captain, we have Miss Nimrit Kaur Varna of Class 5th G as the captain of Shivaji House, and Master Kritesh Sharma of Class 5th F as the vice captain of the Shivaji House. Here we have. Master B Vidit Mishra of class 5th B as the captain of the Shastri house and Ms Shrijita Shubhashish Paul of class 5th F as the vice captain of the Shastri house following the train Now let me introduce you to the class prefects Master Rudra Manish Virangama of the Gore House as a prefect for class 5th A Ms Thea Louise Kamat of the Gore House as a prefect for class 5th B Master Dhruv Pragnesh Kathrodia of Tagore House as a prefect for class 5th C Ms Shatakshi Sudarshan Srivastav of Shivaji House as a prefect for class 5th D Master Rayan Parvez Khan of Vivekanand House as a prefect for class 5th Ms Sara Parvez Rashid of Shivaji House as a prefect for class 5th F Ms Smruti Latendu Acharya of Shivaji House as a prefect for class 5th G Ms Prisha Jitendra Singh of Shivaji House as a prefect for class 5th H 
Ms. Naisa Ire Pandya of Shibaji House as a prefect for class 5i. Master Muhammad Murad Khan of Shibaji House as a prefect for class 5j. These are our future leaders. I'm definitely sure that the world is going to be a better place. The student council members of RBK school are embarking upon a path of duties and responsibilities. They will now affirm their commitment by repeating the oath of office. And as they do so, they have prepared their body, mind and soul to pledge their allegiance to their school. May I now request our headmistress, Mrs. Varsha Bajan, to administer the oath to the head boy and the head girl. This day, this day I, I own party, Anura Parita, stand before my fellow pupils, stand before my fellow pupils, and all in authority, and all in authority, and promise to do the duties, and promise to do the duties, entrusted to me, entrusted to me, as the head boy, as the head boy, head girl, head girl, honestly and justly, honestly and justly, and to the best interest of the school, and in the best interest of the school. May I now request a coordinator, Mrs. Prachi Sonu, to administer the oath to the captains and vice captains. This day, this day, I, I. Stand before my fellow pupils. Stand before my fellow pupils. And all in authority. And all in authority. And promise to do the duties. And promise to do the duties. Entrusted to me. Entrusted to me. As. As. Captain. Captain. Vice Captain. Vice Captain. Honestly and justly. Honestly and justly. And in the best interest of the school. And in the best interest of the school. May I now request a coordinator, Mrs. Noela Ulhana, to administer the oath to the prefix. I solemnly pledge. I solemnly pledge to support the student council, support the student council of RBK school, of RBK school, and to discharge faithfully, and to discharge faithfully the duties given to me by the council body. The duties given to me by the council body. I shall carry out. I shall carry out all the special duties. All the special duties given to me by the administrative board. Given to me by the administrative board. Along with daily. Along with daily. And regular responsibility. And regular responsibility to the best of my ability. To the best of my ability. Now our student council members will be passing the candle that symbolizes the dispelling of ignorance and enlightening the world with knowledge. So my dear students, today you are stepping into a new role. You are going to carry with you a ray of hope wherever you go and whatever difficulties crowd out your day. Light a candle for love Light a candle that shines all the way around the world Light a candle for me Light a candle for you That our wish for world peace will one day come true Light a candle for peace Light a candle for love Light a candle that shines all the way around the world Light a candle for me Light a candle for you That our wish for world peace will one day come true Sing peace. 
newly crowned leaders of RBK school head boy master om padi will reassure their commitment to their school and fellow pupils we the council members do solemnly pledge that we will be responsible to represent our school and will participate in all council activities to the best of our ability and uphold the honor at rbk school we shall fulfill our duties impartially to the best of our competence character and enthusiasm may i now request our headmistress mrs varsha bejal to kindly address the newly appointed members of the student council a very warm welcome to all of you present here i would like to begin with a very inspiring quote the challenge of leadership is to be strong but not rude be kind but not weak be bold but not bully be thoughtful but not lazy be humble but not timid be proud but not arrogant and have humor but without folly dear children as one story comes to my mind in fact there are two stories first story is about a little school child like you all so there was this man who sells bananas and this little child was very mesmerized by beautiful colorful bananas and like you have these color of the flags and the color of the houses so there were those attractive balloons red color cream color yellow color blue color and all the lovely colors you could imagine even the white shade which represents peace so this little child wondered why there wasn't any black balloon and the child asked his father daddy why do we not have a black balloon is it that a black balloon cannot fly because it is black in color and then the father had something very simple to say and the father said we can also have black balloons and it is not because of the color that the balloon gets to fly so whether it is a beautiful bright color or whether it is light shade or whether it is just a black color balloon it is not the color which makes the balloon rise i'm sure dear children in your mind because you all are reading science the answers are already there it is the gas within the balloon it is the helium which makes the balloon take its flight and therefore children the same applies to you you are looking at your leaders right now and you wonder how they have risen to that position when they could take coveted badges it is what they fill themselves up with it is what they have created within themselves the substance the confidence and their sincere work it is that which earns them a place as leaders it is that which makes them today rise a step higher to become role models and while i tell you about the story of balloon and i'm sure you are going to remember about what makes a balloon fly and what makes a student excel i would also say dear children that there is a second kind of leadership dear children that leadership is the non batched leadership and this was a perfect example that we have in our own country's history this that is mahatma gandhi he never had a position he never had any office or appointment in the government however to date we think of him as the greatest world leaders he is called the father of the nation and he rose high simply because titles did not matter to him what mattered to him was his work and he continued to work he continued to toil for others and set an example for everyone to see so a true leader is a harmonious blend of a selfless devotion towards work and an inspiration for others to emulate So I would like to congratulate all the newly elected council members for the academic year 21-22. All the best to your children for your future endeavors. Thank you. Thank you very much ma'am. It was truly inspiring. I'm sure our students will take your advice and function diligently. May I now call upon Miss Papia Kanungo 
who will now propose the vote of thanks. Gratitude is the sign of noble souls. Develop an attitude of gratitude and give thanks for everything. First and foremost, we thank the Lord Almighty who has designed and refreshed our souls with a sweet stream of blessings. It's my privilege to propose a vote of thanks on this occasion. On behalf of RBK School and the entire fraternity of the institution, I would like to take this opportunity to express our indebted gratitude to our deans, Mr. Prasad Pardesi and Mr. Biju Baby, our principal, Mrs. Nalini Shetty, our very own headmistress, Mrs. Varsha Bajan, the coordinators, Mrs. Noela Ulana and Mrs. Prachi Sonu. We extend our heartfelt thanks to our teachers and support staff who have contributed their might for the day's event. Thank you, dear teachers. We would be failing in our duty if we do not express our thanks to all the parents and the well-wishers for their support and patience. Thank you, parents. At this juncture, we feel privileged to thank all the new host parents because of whom we are gathered here. We have held a great promise and are going to lead a life of commitment. Thank you, dear children. It's your ability that made this day a memorable one. Thank you. May I now request all the attendees to stand for the school anthem. things come to an end so has a program i would like to end by saying that this is not an ending it is the beginning of a new journey ahead a journey in which we shall make the most of the valuable time in our hearts stay home stay safe but always keep learning as learning has no age and no end thank you 